Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access using the updated Northwind Traders database. We've gone through the startup issues, trusting the database, the navigation pane, and form. I'm going to continue just walking through the new things that you're going to find in Northwind Traders. And one of those things that Access came out with is calculated data types, which means that this field gets automatically calculated as soon as the data that it's dependent upon is entered. And we can see down here in the expression that this field name, full name, F name, L name, stands for first name concatenated to a space concatenated to the last name. This calculated field is last name concatenated to a comma and a space and then concatenated to first name. Now, while we're in design view of the employees table, I'm going to go through here and look at some of these other fields and I'm going to look at the required property. As I'm adding new data, if that required property is set to yes, I won't be able to enter a record unless I put data in that field. And I believe there's another one here, yes, job title. I'm going to put that to no and then look at the rest of these fields and I don't believe there are any other required fields just to make this demonstration just a little bit easier to understand. All right, so now I have modified the employees table so that the only required fields are the first name and the last name and then the employee ID is automatically going to update because it's an auto numbered data type. So when we're in data sheet view and we add a new first name and last name, we're going to automatically see the calculations populate just as if we had done a proper formula in Excel. That's a neat feature. However, unique access. So in my travels, I always try to help people use features that then should this database be migrated upward to SQL Server, which is Microsoft's next biggest relational database, all of the data would successfully migrate upward. So instead of using the calculated data type, which is just an access feature, I would prefer you build a query, did that calculation, and then use that query anytime you needed the expression. Again, the benefit being that a query simply creates SQL statements. And therefore, it is very portable to other relational databases. It's a more standard way to create calculations. Let's go into Query Design View. I'm going to add the Employees table. I'm going to add the Employee ID, primary key field. We'll need that in this query to connect this query to other objects in the database because the primary key field uniquely identifies each employee. I'm going to pull down the first name, the last name. Those are the only two required fields in this table and then I'm going to build my calculated field. I'm going to call it full name, followed by a colon, and then the expression that I want for the calculation. And in this case, I'm just going to make it first name added to a space, which we add with quotation marks, added to the last name. I'm going to go to, into data sheet view to look at that data, and there's my full name. In fact, I'm going to come back to design view and even do something more interesting. I'm going to move that last name the left of the first name because the sort orders in the query read left to right. So I'm going to sort by last name and then first name. So that full name is sorted in alphabetical order on the last name. As I add a new last name here, let's add Akers A. I can see that that calculation is automatically happening because this is a calculated field. I'm going to call this query QRY name and save it. And now I've got that query that I can use anytime I need this calculation in any other query, form, or report. For example, let's say we're creating a query in the query design view, and we add the employees table. And let's say that the calculated field feature of access is not available to us. So what we would want to do is add that query QRY name, drag it in, and automatically the query knows how to connect with the employees table because we've given this first field the exact same field name as the primary key field in the employees table. So now we can pull in the first and last name out of the employees table, their job title, and their full name calculation out of QRY name. So in other words, we're saving that calculation in a query and then we're adding that query to every other query form or report that wants that calculation. And let's go and look at that in data sheet view. 
and here we have their first and last name and their full name, and we have the data we want, only the data is created in a query, which again is safer and more standard than using the calculated field feature of access. I'm going to go ahead and close this query. I'm not going to save it for the moment. And I want to go back into this query design view, one we created. I just want to remind you, the query is really a set of SQL statements. So when you save a query, this is what you're saving. You're saving these SQL statements. Select the employee ID, last name, and first name field from the employees table. Build this calculated field with this field name from the employees table. And then here's our sort order. So that's why when you're working in query design view, if Kay Akers changes her last name to Smith, and we move off that record, then her calculation, every single other query, form, or report that uses this QRY name query in its record set is also automatically updated. Because when you're changing data, I don't care if you're in a table data sheet or a query data sheet or in a form, you're actually saving it in the one and only one place where data is stored in an access relational database, and that's in the tables. And if I open up an employee's table, I'm going to see her there, Kay Smith. And that is really the core benefit of using a relational database, that you store one and only one set of data, and then you relate it to the other tables through one-to-many relationships. That is the key benefit of a relational database. Non-redundant data, which is far more accurate, far more easy to maintain, far more reliable, and far more flexible. Thank you.